Hey YouTube, this is Pyro Chris, and this is the first time for me ever to give a video on YouTube. I wanted to share with you my 2014 stash. While it's never too early to start getting crackers and bottle rockets and everything else you want to buy for your next shoot, I think if it's this early in the game, look for the really good deals. Now, I don't really buy wholesale. I have. Um... But my shoots just aren't big enough to do all that. Um, and you get too much of the same product in my ideas. For my ideas, but sometimes it's worth it in the long run. This is going to be all stuff that I picked up at different stores. Uh, I try to get it on sale. And there's some really good deals. Talk to the people. Normally people are pretty good about uh, giving you some good deals when it's off season and everything. And this is really the beginning of the off season. So everything I'm going to show you, I spent probably about... I don't know, between 120 and 150 bucks. So it's not bad for the selection. Um, I'm getting a little bit of this and that, a little small stuff, um, a couple cakes and everything. But I try to keep my budget on a smaller amount. So I don't know. Last year I didn't do that quite well. I, I spent quite a bit. Hopefully this year I won't spend as much um, and get things early on so they're cheaper. So we'll start things off with some of the free things. Uh, this past summer we took a trip down to Florida. I actually live in Missouri. So we had to go through the beautiful state of Tennessee, which is one of my favorite states besides Missouri because of the fact that we have free fireworks laws and we can sell and buy lots of things, which is top notch. Well, I was driving down the highway there was a sign saying free firework for every out-of-state license. Well, me and my wife and my two kids, all of us have a license. So we decided to pull over and get ourselves a free firework. And we bought a few things out of there as well because you got to keep, you know, get those guys in business, keep the fireworks going. So the ones we got were these party shots right here. And I'm going to be zooming in and out. And since this is my first time, hopefully things come in focus. Now they're small little party shots. They're not very big at all. But I got four of them. And they didn't cost us anything. So that was a that was a really good deal right there. And they just shoot a little burst up in the air. They're not real big or anything. But it's a lot of fun, so why not? Um, and I got a few more things while I was at the store as well. So I'm going to show you some things as we go around. Next thing I want to show you is right behind that, down below. Now if you want some cool daytime fireworks, these black cats over here are pretty amazing and they're called um, sky spiders they just shoot up in the air it's kind of like a parachute but instead of a parachute it's uh it's that flimsy paper that looks like a spider and it's got different colors on it and it kind of floats in the air they're really cool actually my wife digs them a lot so i got four of those and i'll probably pick up some more for her for some daytime use um, but they're really cool, and the kids like to chase them around, try to catch them. But they're a little, they're a lot lighter than the, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the parachute, so they actually float a lot slower down to the ground, so they, you can get rid of your kids for a long time if you, if you do it right. Um, over here, speaking of parachutes, let me go up here. And we got an airborne troopers. We got two of those. Again, one of my wife's favorite again. For some reason, she likes chasing things, and, which was funny because she had no problem chasing me and getting me. Um, they've got the two little goods on the inside, and the parachute comes out. They're just a lot of fun. And I'll get a couple more um, parachutes. I got a whole bunch still from last year that I'm not even showing you last year's stash. Where I didn't shoot off. I don't even have it here. It's at my dad's house. So. Uh, we shoot out at the farm out there, so we have a lot of stuff over there still as well. Here's some cool things I want to show you that uh, if you like to collect or something like that, these are really awesome. I went to an old fireworks store and he got me some old fireworks, which are really cool. You know, and at the at the time. These little four or five shooters and single shots and stuff like that. And these were the shit. You know, all it was a plastic base. Got some visco there. You got five shots, repeating comments. Um, they weren't anything special or anything like that. 
Uh, before we got more technical though, those are some pretty cool stuff. And so I got one of the five shot, which are right there. I'll pull out a little bit. And then right behind it, I got a whole bunch of single 100 salutes, basically, is what they are. And one of my favorite ones is, I'm going to things around. This is Sky Racket. Oops. Right here. And so I have a total of. Oh God, I don't even know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Pretty stoked about having. I just had them last year as well. And I know collectors out there be like, oh, I don't shoot those off. Well, they're a firework. They're supposed to be shot off. And I shoot the old stuff just as much as I shoot the new stuff. Um, and it brings back memories when I was a kid where I get to shoot these off. So just number one sky, or number two skyrockets. Another one's in there as well. So those are a lot of fun. And all they are is a big giant firecracker shooting up in the air, but they're really loud. They're awesome. Uh, right below that, now, since I live in Doolittle, Missouri, uh, 76, Spirit 76 is actually right down the road from me in um, Columbia, Missouri. So I went and stopped there. I like to stop and grab a few things from there. I get a lot of their sales stuff. And I got a couple, I got a comet and uh, uh, two comets there. Uh, one's a silver comet with a rainbow mine, and one's just a purple comet. Um, 76 has some really cool comets, and I actually buy quite a few of those because that was some really nice effects that you can put into your show and stuff like that. So they're well worth having it, and I really like them. Um, they're actually really big. Now, some of the comets, I have to admit, I wouldn't call them a true comet because some don't have tails. It's just a big giant pearl, but it's a big giant pearl, so it's it's really nice. Right behind there, we got a twister glitter or a twitter glitter, just a fountain, and they've been around forever and a heart date, so those are obviously kind of always nice to have. And a twist and shout from Showtime. Now. I stopped by one of the show house showrooms for the for the show time, and uh, my friend had a twist and shot last year or something. Picked one up, and holy cow, are those little things loud! You would not believe it. That is a great 200 gram cake. Um, I don't forget how much it was. It wasn't very much, and actually, she let me have it for even half off. So it was. It's it's well worth the price. It's I think regular price like seven bucks or something. It's a seven shot, but man, they are loud shots and pretty good sized breaks too. Um, I went down to Black Black Market Fireworks down in uh, Joplin, Missouri, and I didn't buy a lot, out, but I did buy this one thing. It says cake back here, 500 grammer, and it's a pretty boy Floyd. Um, if you get a chance on YouTube, go check it out. It's a really nice cake. Uh, and I'm probably going to go and pick up some more of those. You know, they're like $19, regular price. Had a little sale going on, so I picked it up for $16. That's not bad for a 500 gram, 16 bucks. You can't beat that. You know, that's, that's, you're talking almost uh, case prices at that point. Right above it, I got a Gunslinger from Brothers. You know, it's a fap shooter. It, it's 25 shot. It's nice. Uh, it's just kind of a fun thing to add in. It's not nothing big or huge or anything, but it's a good time. You got a Jungle Fever up there. Now, Jungle Fever is kind of like a, uh, a Fiesta. Fireball. Yeah, Fireworks Fiesta. That's basically what it is. And on top of there, I got three grosses of firework, bottle rockets. rather. I got a TNT air, and two air travelers. So they're, they're just fun. I like to put them in a bucket a whole bunch at one time. Put a little fountain in there and just let them go, and those things will shoot off forever. And they make a pretty good effect, actually, at nighttime if you put a nice little bucket on them. Now, I'm all in the back back there. I'm a big uh, Roman candle nut. I love making Roman candle racks and all sorts of stuff. To me, it's a cheap way of making a cake. They got some really cool effects in them now. They can really liven things up. Um... Uh, the Crackle Bomb is the one you're looking at right now. 
right next to us is the crackling one as well. I got some loose ones. I got that little 30 shot pearl, sort of small ones, but 30 shots in them. Man, those things last forever. We got a hang 10. Someone told me it was good, so he actually gave it to me. Go shoot and hang out. I don't know what it's like. We'll see. Got some red rhinos back there. Um, the ugly stick. Not exactly sure what they all do, but they should be pretty cool. Um, I got four jumbo California candles. They're fountains, basically. You hold them in your hand, and they're safe and sane. But they were free, so I'm not going to argue with them and take them up. Um, another thing I really like and dig are rockets as well. You see the sticks right there. Let me go up a little bit. And then we got a couple rockets. So I got some black cats right there. I got a smiley face. Those are just four. You know, they're... They were a dollar a piece, so I, I grabbed them. You can't beat that price. And here's some cool ones, too. Let me zoom in on those. All right. Get a little bit. There we go. If you guys can read those or not. But they're just green willows. Again, it's another dot classification. It's an old firework. Um, the guy has a whole bunch of them. Yeah, he sold me for a dollar a pack. Um, I actually have a whole bunch of those. You just don't see them all. Um, and we'll actually fire those off. And right next to it, again, there's just more dot fireworks as well. Dot class. And uh, they're, they're just rockets. And they're just a lot of fun. And I got more of those as well. And I think I got those for a buck fifty a pack or something. And there's like 12 of them in there. So it was a great deal. And I make rocket racks as well. There's a little rocket, more little rockets right there. And we got another assortment of candles, boomer style. So, and this little four pack or something. I'm not sure what the I can't even see the price. What's that say? Uh, 3.97. Yeah, not a chance. I don't pay that much. Um, I probably got at least half off that. Some other little rockets that I got left over as well. You know, some glitter pop, stuff like that. A couple black cats, a couple of stuff like that. Nothing special. And then we got a Dirty Dancing in the Sky. I don't know if you guys know what this is. So this is another Showtime product, actually. Um, my dad picked one up last year to get it for us for our, for our show. And... Sorry, moving the light around. It was kick ass. Now, there's two sizes, from what I understand. There's a shorter one, and this is the taller one. And we had the shorter one last year. And the brakes on that thing were massive. And it's not a 500 grammer either. It's probably about a 350. But huge brakes on them. Really loud. Nice looking cake. The taller ones, I guess, aren't quite as... I don't know, maybe not quite as nice or something. I think they just go up higher. And you just don't get the full effect when it, with the shorter tubes. They really broke kind of early, so um, it was a nice effect. Um, the short ones are still out there. If you get a chance to buy some of the short ones, I say do it. Um, I will be picking up some. I know where some are now. And I'll be grabbing some more of those as well, too. Nice cake. Cheap as well. You can pick them up for about uh, 20 bucks as well. You know, um, seems like a lot. Let me tell you what. They're awesome. Right below it, I got the Ray Reviews. Um, these are 500 grammers. I got two of them actually. One right there, and one right there. And they're nice. They're good looking cakes. Showtime product again. Um, I got those at the warehouse while I was there. They're on sale again. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're manager special, which is buy one, get one free. And, you know, they're actually only a $25 cake to start with. So I got two for 25 bucks. Again, case price again. That's not bad. You know, space things out, get some things really cheap. That's the way to go. I went yard sailing. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but I went to a yard sale and they just happen to have these super artillery shells from Shogun. Twelve of them. And they, they wanted five bucks for them. So, being as cheap as I am, I offered three. And they accepted that, so it worked for me. So I got, you know, 12 shots right there. And I won't use those tubes. Those are just cardboard tubes. I got my own rack. We'll put those in there and uh, shoot them off. We'll see how they look. I don't know too much about them. 
I don't really shoot shotgun, but we'll see what it's like. Uh, I had a buddy come over. He dropped me off some um, ball shots right there. Those are uh, uh, world class. And got some three shots and two shot breaks. Um, they're good size. They're supposed to be pretty nice. So uh, we'll see what those are. Right below it, I got another cake called uh, Over over something sensation I'm not sure can't read some craps in the way um, and again that one was on sale it's a fan cake which I really like it really spread things out I wish they had two of them but they didn't and the guy was only asking 15 bucks for them so you know you, you can't pass stuff up when it's that cheap it's a brother's pie brother pies are really good uh, the two little things in front of it right there actually some more dot those, those little hand fountains um, those are hard to find nowadays, or getting harder to find at least. Uh, again, we'll play with those. Got a Red Rider shootout back there. Again, you know, normally it's like a $12 cake or so. It's a nice cake, actually. Um, I think I spent 5 bucks on it. It was on sale. Right in front of it, we got a um, Rowdy Rampage. Another... I think it's a Shogun, I'm not really sure. I don't know anything really about it. 16 shot, it was 2 bucks. And for 2 bucks, I'm not passing up a little cake. They're just, it's just worth the half around. Um, I got a bunch of small little fountains here and, and little cakes and stuff like that. Um, actually, on Craigslist, and last round, if anyone wanted to sell me any of their old stuff, the guy gave me a call. He only wanted a couple bucks for everything, so I was more than happy to take it off his hand. And I got quite a bit of product out of it. So that's just filler stuff, you know, little things. It's great for the kids to shoot off, have a lot of fun with. Now, speaking of kids, Zips. By far, probably one of the coolest things ever invented are Zips. They're fun, they're cool, they're loud. And, and I got different kinds in there. I got the zips. I think there's some speed demons. Uh, maybe some silver bullets. There's a ground bloom I see right there as well too. Um, and then you got a little those little worthless wire or fuse whips. You know they go spin around. Here's a cool thing. If you get a chance to get these, these are flipping awesome. Big blue balls. Great name, three in a pack. Forget the price, um, but they shoot out a cloud, a crackle. And I don't mean okay. The little green ball right next to it. You guys know what the little uh, crackle balls are, right? You know, shh, way to go. Big blue balls, huge eruption. Really, really cool. Uh, I went and grabbed three packs of those. Harder to find. Awesome to have. So me and my boy has like. A lot of good time with those right there. Yeah, what else we got a rallying around here? Sorry about the noise. Got some, oh, I guess it's got some fuse. Not a big deal there. Got a uh, little spitter. Uh, cracker tracer. So I'm just saying, I'll bin Laden on there. Kill him. Uh, ground bloom. Got packs of those. Planes and stuff like that. Okay, you know, you got your buzz killers and stuff. More brown blue jumping jacks, which are, you know, worthless nowadays, unfortunately. Um, Dominator Mini Fountains, Mini Max, yeah. Four of those. Good for the kid. There's a super chicken back there, as you can see. Everybody have a chicken. Some whistle chasers and a 20 pack right there, small ones. Some strobe, I think. Um, they always comment again, it's the boomer product, small little cake, no big deal. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? A little plane, a little pill, a couple smokes. Um, 50s, got some whistlers right there. And these little whistlers. They're small. They're not very big. They're really loud. And the nice thing about them is 
if you, if you add them to your board for your chute, they make a racket for a good little bit, and 